Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to bring you a short little video on 5 poisonous plants to avoid while foraging. There are a lot of poisonous plants out there, so this doesn't cover them all, but this list should give you guys a pretty good idea of some of the more common ones for you to avoid. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 5 is the Virginia Creeper. Now, Virginia Creeper is a climbing vine that many will mistake for poison sumac, though it looks nothing like it. This vine has 5 leaves with toothed or double tooth margins, and usually can be found anywhere that it's able to grow. This plant is a little bit different than some of the other plants on this list and that touching it usually is of no harm to most people. However, ingesting this plant can be fatal if you consume too much, but it's most likely to just cause some severe discomfort as its toxins will just create a sharp piercing and burning sensation within the mouth and the throat. Number four is the horse nettle or the thorny nightshade. The horse nettle or thorny nightshade, as it's sometimes known, is part of the poisonous nightshade family that we all have come to fear and in some cases love. I say that because potatoes and tomatoes are part of the same family. However, many nightshades are extremely poisonous. The thorny nightshade is no exception as poisonous plants go because just a few dozen of these berries are probably going to make you very sick to your stomach and eating close to a hundred of these can cause death. The thorns on this plant are a helpful and dead giveaway, just like the bright yellow berries this plant will have, usually within the late fall. Number three is the notorious poison ivy. This plant is more of a nuisance than the dandelion, as most can't even get near it without horrible skin reactions. The essential oils are what cause the reactions within humans, and ironically though, it isn't harmful to lower life forms like insects and deer, for example. There is an old time saying of leaves of three, leave them be, and this has been adapted because of this plant and is sort of a false misnomer as many other useful and healthy plants do have three leaves. So it's kind of best for you to know what poison ivy looks like so that way you can stay away from it and out of it while you're foraging. Number two is pokeweed, or poke as some like to call it. Now this plant is technically edible in its young shoot form throughout the early spring, but it does need to be boiled in two to three changes of water for it to be safe for large quantities. After the plant gets to be about a foot tall, the toxins become stronger and stronger, and the leaves, berries, and root all become deadly poisonous if consumed. These toxins, many of which are still unknown, are contained in the entire plant and are strongest in the root. This plant and its bright berries can also be very attractive to children, so make sure that they know what it looks like and to avoid this poisonous plant in the wild. Number one is the poison hemlock. Poison hemlock is responsible for the death of Socrates at around 400 BC after being tried and found guilty for corruption. Poison hemlock has a notorious reputation for not only being poisonous, but looking like some very other useful plants yarrow and Queen Anne's lace, to just name a few. This is a tall, roadside-loving plant that has large, white flowers and a distinct purple spotted stem, so it is somewhat easy to identify. However, small amounts of this plant can kill you in under an hour, so it's best that you make sure what it looks like well before you go out foraging. Okay, so that covers five plants that you guys really should probably learn before you go out foraging and start consuming anything. Now obviously this list isn't inclusive because there are many other plants out there that are poisonous that you need to know too. But this should give you a quick rundown on some plants to look out for. So I hope this video has been of help to you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I thank you guys for watching. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.